Hello everyone, today I'm going to be going over what I think are the top 5 scariest backrooms creatures. Actually, you know what? 5 isn't enough. Let's do 7. So these are the 7 scariest backrooms creatures in existence. Some of these I've covered in my Backrooms Creatures Explained series, but I haven't covered number 1, that's for sure, and it's terrifying. So yeah, let's get into it. At number 7, we have the Skin Stealers. Yes, this is pretty low on the list for how creepy they are, but it's still terrifying nonetheless. Skin Stealers, aka Entity Tins, are huge humanoid creatures that wear the skins of their victims as a disguise. They feed on humans when they're in their hungry states, and they can even mimic the sound of humans speaking to lure you closer. Additionally, they have clear blood, so this is the only way you can tell if they're human or not. But if you're not sure, you can always just cut whatever you see. If it bleeds clear, it's a Skin Stealer, but if it bleeds red, it's a human. If it's clear, you're done for if you're that close. So you've got a big tall creature with white eyes and human skins wrapped around itself nice that specifically only eats humans and kills you by ripping you in half with their bare hands that's terrifying also they're mainly located on the first four levels so you might see one right off the bat if you no clip into the back rooms nice Next up at the 6th spot, we have Stranglers. Of course we do. These things live only on level 58.1, and they hunt during the level's blackouts, which is when the lights go off, obviously. They're 8 feet tall bipedal beasts that are really furry, and they have a huge beak thing on the front of their face, and they use it to crush bones and eat flesh. Okay. Their hands are these snake-like appendages that they can constrict around their prey's necks at will in order to strangle them. That's where they get the name from. Their feet kinda look like hooves from real life, but... Instead of making that click click sound like normal hooves do, Strangler's feet are spongy and make little to no noise. So when a blackout starts on level 58.1, these things creep out of the shadows and slowly and quietly walk through the dark rooms to find anything to eat. Also, they literally eat each other sometimes, so add cannibalism to the list of creepy things about them. So yeah, there's no doubt in my mind why these things are on the list. In fifth place is the Dentist Entity. These things are humanoids that look like melted humans with a bunch of excess flesh on them. They have teeth and jaws and gum tissue all over their bodies as well. When they walk, they leave a slimy trail behind and they smell like a decomposing corpse. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. They're very hostile and if they even see you, they'll start to pursue and walk towards you. The only good thing is that they're pretty slow at the start, but that kind of makes them scarier in a way, I'm not gonna lie. And they use this slowness as a deception sometimes, because when they're about to pounce on you, they get this huge burst of energy so they can run at you really fast, and it catches you off guard. When they do catch you, they'll pin you down and take your teeth and gums away while you're still alive. Ew. Also, the gum tissue on their bodies is infected and is growing mold. I just thought you should all know that. So this thing's a flesh blob that wobbles around and pounces on you and rips out your teeth and gums before eating you. Mm-hmm. Fun, fun, fun. Fourth is one that actually might surprise you, and it's wretches. Now hear me out before you comment, oh, wretches aren't that scary. I put these on here because this is something that can happen to anyone if they're not careful in the back rooms. Like some of the entities on this list are only on certain levels, so you can just avoid them if you want to. But these things live on almost every level, and it's impossible to avoid them. If you don't know, wretches are like zombie creatures that were once humans. The humans transform into the wretch through something called the wretched cycle, which is when a human doesn't get enough food, water, or sleep. And this happens faster if they're isolated. It's almost impossible to completely stop the wretched cycle, which makes it even creepier, so it's like almost a death sentence. These red zombies have inhuman strength and speed, and sometimes even hunt in packs and wield weapons. So these are pretty much visual representations of what the backrooms can make you feel like in your head. And that, along with the reasons I said earlier, is why wretches take the number four spot. Plus they just look terrifying, people. Come on, get with the program. Third on my list is Bone Thieves. Bone Thieves are huge, fat, yellow blobs that have impenetrable skin, their eyes are located on the inside of their mouth, not their heads, and they leak blue liquid from holes in their head. If that doesn't sound creepy enough, they can also debone something just by looking at it. I mean, literally rip their bones out of their body without even moving them. They just disappear. Nice. Bone thieves can also mimic any noise of anything perfectly because of their extremely advanced larynx. Once the bone thief literally just teleports your bones out of your body, you'll fall completely limp 
and then it will extend its neck and slurp you into its mouth and then swallow you whole. Mm -hmm, nice. This one is third because of how dangerous and creepy it is. I mean, this thing can literally teleport your bones away without even touching you. Like, that's terrifying. The only good part is that they're mostly stationary and can't chase you, but still, like, imagine turning a corner and then just going limp. Nice. In the second slot, I put memory worms. So memory worms are these huge lamprey worm looking things that have these gigantic teeth that spiral down the entire length of their body. They have literal metaphysical abilities that they use to hunt and kill prey. When the memory worm is hunting something, it subdues that thing by using illusions, which are based off of that person's memories. So they can literally make a person see whatever they want and lull them into a false sense of security. Like a memory worm could make you think that you were at your house on Christmas morning and you would see everything just like how you remember. Nice. The only way to stop an illusion once it starts is with almond water and a ton of mental willpower. Memory worms are pretty slow, but that literally doesn't matter when you aren't moving because in your head, you're just laying on a beach because they're making you think of your beach memories like that's crazy they eat their prey whole and once they digest you they give birth to your remains and then they form into wormlings or memory facelings that's disgusting a giant worm huge teeth can control your mind and your memories that's second place material right there i'm sure you're asking yourself brugley how can it get worse oh it can and finally, number one is a creature that I have not covered on my channel before, which is surprising, and it's called a Phobic Centipede, or Entity 134. Their best physical description is that they look like a shadowy outline of a centipede, a giant one at that too, they're huge. They live in the darkest spots on seemingly random levels, and they can communicate intelligently with anyone, in any language. Every attempted picture of the creature has extreme glitching and distortion on it, which makes it pretty impossible to get a good look at it. These creatures are very, very hostile, and they wait for wanderers to pass near them, and when someone does, they project a picture of a loved one from that person's life onto their own body, kind of like a TV projection. They do this to try to lure the wanderer into the shadows, and it works out all the time, because how surprised would you be if you saw a picture of someone you loved and you were stuck in the back rooms? I mean, you'd probably walk towards it. When a person does walk into the shadows, the centipede will use human arms, it has two human arms, and it will use that to pull you further in, and this is the point where the psychological torment will start. This thing will literally induce sleep paralysis and make you go through your worst nightmare. It tells you things like you're never going to escape and it even makes you see your biggest fears. And the whole time it's doing this, it's quietly laughing and giggling. Nice. Bro, if a giant centipede grabs me, makes me not be able to move, and then puts a gigantic spider in my dream, I'm, I'm just giving up at that point. But even after this, this stupid creature is not done yet. It sometimes will let you get up and run away just to chase you like some sick game. Yeah, okay. The centipede has this black fog that floats around it too, and it has knife-like fingers and claws, so it can just lacerate you if it wants to. It's also got around 12,000 small centipede legs and two huge human arms. The head on the centipede can either be a normal centipede head or it can be a female's head and the head is always smiling which is weird it also has pale white eyes but the creature can actually change its own head to look like anyone from your life too which makes it even more real nice they could literally just change their head into the head of your mom and you would walk towards them i mean why wouldn't you these things are sadistic for no reason also i want to point out the first encounter with one was when meg workers saw one crawl out of a grave saying quote come here sweetheart grandma misses you then the workers saw a wanderer run towards the creature because they thought it was their grandma and then it proceeded to eat that person whole nice and that wraps up the list and now i'm going to go into some honorable mentions before you start furiously typing away at the ones that i missed honorable mentions go to skin givers denizens redkins and party goers so yeah if you were about to type you forgot skin givers or any of the ones i just said yeah get destroyed well that wraps up the top seven scariest backrooms creatures in my opinion you can have a different one, I don't care. If you think that any other creature should have been on the list that I didn't mention or give an honorable mention, leave in the comments below and tell me why. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I said it backwards. Get destroyed. I'll see you later. <laughs> Peace.